Today we can learn the easiest and the most practical way to create long shadows in Photoshop. And guess what? We will be using Photoshop 3D to do it. And you can do this with anything, text, logo, or any layer that you have. So right now I have a simple background and on top of it, I have a text layer. So the first thing that we have to do is select the text layer or anything that you have, maybe a logo or an image, select that and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of this one. Turn off the copy at the top, just turn it off. Select the bottom one and then simply go to 3D and new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Just select that. It's gonna ask you whether you want to convert your workspace to a 3D workspace. We don't need it, just click no. Now, after you do that, you will see an extrusion come up, okay? So you can increase the extrusion depth. It just extrudes it more. Have a look at the top view right here. So as I increase it, it's just making it more longer. Don't worry about that now. All you need to do is to just check these off. We don't want any additional shadows. So check these off, catch shadows and cast shadows. Just check them off. After you do that, select this button. This is deform, select that. Now once deform is selected, increase the extrusion depth all the way to the right. It makes it very, very long. Now come down here in the properties. And by the way, if you cannot see all of these properties, all you have to do, you have to go to window and then make sure properties is checked, this one. Just click on that one and this will show up. Now inside the deform properties, click on shear, okay? Once you click on that one, set the vertical angle or the horizontal angle to 90 degrees, set one to 90. Now, here comes the magic. You can just click and hold the other one and play with the angle. It's gonna act crazy, maybe it will, maybe it will not. But once you start playing with the slider, have a look, you can create a long shadow in any direction of your choice. So I'm gonna stop probably right here, maybe right here. I like this one. It's pretty much done. You don't even have to render this thing. Once you have that in place, you can just turn the 3D copy on this one. Just turn it on at the top one. You can also select that one. You will get out of that 3D environment. Hold the control or command. Click on the thumbnail of the bottom layer. So now we have a selection of all of the shadow. So we don't want all of this 3D layer. It might confuse you. So let's delete this or you can simply turn it off. It's completely up on you. Now, once we have the selection, it's pretty easy, right? Select the background layer and then click on the adjustment layer and then create a solid color adjustment layer so that it creates it above the background layer and below the 3D copy. Now, it's pretty much done. You can choose any color you want. Let's select H and you can choose any color that you like. I'm gonna select black and hit okay. Let's collapse this one and simply decrease the opacity if you like to. See how easy that was? If you wanna create a gradient, you can do that as well. You can put this inside a group. Now once this is selected, press Ctrl or Command G to put it inside a group. And the advantage is you can have another mask for just the group. So click on the mask button, this one. And now you can just simply take the gradient, maybe white to black, and maybe do something like this. So let's do it. Well, great. If you want to keep it flat, you can delete the mask. It's absolutely upon you. Now, sometimes you might run across a problem where the shadow might come up just a pixel bit at the top. That's not a big problem. Select the mask right here. Just select that one. And you can actually press Ctrl or Command T and move it down and a little bit to the right. Hit enter or return and it will solve your issue. Now you might have watched other tutorials where you have to make tons of copies of layer or maybe go filling pixel by pixel. That does take a lot of time and that is not very efficient. This uses Photoshop 3D to create this 3D shadow effect, long shadows. I hope this video helped. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.